So my name is Jasmine and along with my husband David, we have been running Melton Music for the last 10 years. In 2009, we had the opportunity to build our first house in Melton. The garage was the drum room and the one of the bedrooms in this tiny three bedroom house was the piano and music uh, singing room. We had uh, four teachers, um, including myself, and six students. But that was the first week. Um, it, it soon built, built up to uh, 80 students um, by the end of the year. When we finally moved to where we are now, 515 High Street, um, the reason we moved is because we never imagined a property so close to Woodgrove becoming available, and we decided this was the best spot for us. When we got to Term 1 this year, there was obviously some concerns because COVID was still in the wind about everything was happening overseas. Once we got to March, we um, once we got to Stage 3, we realised that we were going to have to go to online only. So in order to combat the business challenge we have with COVID, with everything that happened, um, we just did what we do best, we innovate. Uh, that's what we're known for. Um, we're always pushing the boundaries and, um, and moving forward. How can we do something better? Instead of going, oh, what will we do now? I guess we should just stop. Um, it was, okay, how do we change it to make this work um, so we don't have to close? We created a Survey Monkey survey, help us make this better. Um, and we had a, a series of questions that would indicate, you know, how was the quality of the sound and the video and this, and, and that helped us shape what we should build into the systems we have now. In terms of connecting to our customers, we do the regular things, um, which is what we always do, and that's sending out newsletters um, at the start and end of each term and, uh, and, and just specific emails with updates. So every time there was a COVID update, this is now happening or now we can do online classes. On top of that, we made sure to have that personal connection that we usually have when they're coming into the store. So we did that with phone calls. The personal touch of taking the time to call someone, knowing that some of them, you know, they may spend a bit longer on the phone with you because they, maybe they haven't been able to get out and they need to talk. And they're just like, we're so glad that you're just, you're calling, taking the time to, um, to see where we're at. Um, it shows us that you do actually care. So my advice to all the local businesses out there is um, fight for your business. You know why you started your business, so don't give up on that just because there's a bigger giant than you expected. That was the surprise. There's a bigger giant than I expected to find doing business. There's things we expect when we open it. Um, there's hurdles and challenges we're prepared for or that we're taught this could happen and this could happen, especially if you start a new business. But um, when COVID hit, um, that, that it seemed bigger than some people could handle. Um, just keep innovating. What's a new way you can offer your services? If you're willing to put your hand up and say, I need help, I'm, this is gonna be hard for me, but I'm willing to fight. So many people will come around, so you're willing to fight and we'll fight with you.